right, folks, this is a uh, fairly um, standard uh, concert. That's 23, 4 inches ukulele that is sent to me by Mirio. If you've seen the last couple of videos, I've been looking at one of their Dreadnought acoustic guitars. And um, someone else contacted me and said, well, how about a ukulele? Since you do a lot of ukulele reviews, I said, sure, I'll look at it. When I, my first impressions, I'm going to just do one video on this for the good reason that it doesn't really need any setup at all. It's, it's um, arrived in great playing uh, condition, so I don't need to do, my impressions and my review can be all the same uh, video, which is, which is great. Uh, my first impression when I saw this top is that, wow, that reminds me of a few other things. I can't remember the exact brands, but if you look at that etched sound hall, I'm pretty sure I've seen that exact design on two, three other brands uh, for spruce play uh, top models. Uh, also with the Sibali back and sides, very slightly arched. Uh, and the sort of white creamish ABS binding and the double purfled edges. So my guess is that this, these are made um, in pretty big runs and then different companies buy them off and stamp them. The one thing different about this ukulele than the, the others that I've seen with this exact design and this exact look and the same specs uh, for the top and for the fretboard as well, is that it has the Mirio uh, signature shaped headstock, which I kind of like. It's not quite as curved and as pronounced here as the guitar. It's a little bit more subtle, but it's different. It's not your bog standard shield or squared off Martin style headstock. They're going for um, their own look, which uh, I can appreciate. I think it's quite nice. Um, the logo is a bit different on the guitar. It goes left to right, and this one is across the top. Uh, slightly different. This one is etched as well. That one is sort of um, gold, gold uh, lasered. I don't know if it's lasered or not. Um, but anyway, I think the look of the headstock is quite nice. They've matched the um, sapelli on the back and sides uh, with the facing on the headstock. Um, you know, uh, some standard stuff on here. Um, this might actually be bone, this nut and saddle. It certainly feels like bone. Might be very hard plastic, but it feels like bone. It has a rosewood fretboard. I thought it would be techwood like the guitars, but it's not. It's actually rosewood with the mother of something um, fret markers on there. Uh, one tip for Mirio, the designer, put them on the sides. Um, guitar players like that. When you're playing guitar or ukulele, you're looking down at the side of the neck. You're not really looking at the front. Um, so the fret markers on the side right here are probably more important than having them here even. Um, other things to note, um, the keys are fairly standard closed machine geared keys, but with slightly bigger black buttons. So they're a little easier to grab. And these are, um, a nice sort of acrylic style black, maybe plastic uh, tuner buttons here, uh, which are easy to grab and, and tune. The tuners feel pretty good. You can see the label still on it, it's straight out the box. Um, the action is really decent on this. I don't really have to do anything. I just tuned it up. They're not using Aquila strings, which is um, kind of interesting. A lot of companies do use Aquila or Aquila, however you say it. You know, the white, um, strings that are um, ubiquitous on ukuleles. I actually buy them in bulk and put them on um, uh, companies that don't uh, come, with, come with worse strings than that because I find for cheap strings I find that they're consistently good. These are not, I'm not sure what these are. They're a, they're a clear probably fluorocarbon nylon uh, string. Um, I left them on because they don't sound bad at all. I mean, sometimes when you get these, they're, they're Didario or something of that ilk. And other times they're, um, you know, just sort of low brand or low quality factory strings that they just put on. Uh, I thought that might be the case on these, but they tune and hold after they stretch out. And they don't sound bad, actually. So I didn't find a need to, to change them like I have on um, many other ukuleles that don't use uh, Aquila strings. Um, 
I've heard there are fake aquila strings floating around. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, but these are, are, are pretty decent. So it's got a nice bright tone, but also a pleasing mellow um, side to the tone as well, probably because of the softer wood, the spruce top. I always find that spruce top ukuleles are slightly warmer, or usually, not always, than hardwood top like koa or um, mahogany. Uh, mahogany tends to differ because there are different kinds of mahogany that have different tonal qualities. Um, but this is a, a nice sounding, pleasant, nice plink. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I didn't check actually what these sell for. The guitar, guitar sell for 106. I think these are around 40, 45 dollars uh, on these. Um, I will, I will correct that if I'm wrong uh, on the screen. It'll flash up somewhere around here. Um, and I think it's a really decent starter uke. And what makes it even better? Uh, and I'm glad to report this because you know how I feel that companies who don't do this reasonably padded maybe a millimeter or two uh, black gig bag with all the accoutrements you need you've got a strap you've got a, a tuna um probably give you a polished cloth yeah there's polished cloth probably some picks which i don't know why people put guitar picks in ukulele packages but they do um and then uh, what appears to be a little instruction book so everything you need to start playing uh, the ukulele. I've noticed that the strap that they use is exactly the same as the strap that came with the Mirio uh, ukuleles that I've been selling lately. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just because this is um, mass produced and readily available. I think I've seen them with other brands as well. Or if these are maybe made in similar areas. I'm not sure what the connection is there. I just noticed it. Um, and it's not a flimsy strap either. It's a good inch and a half wide. You know, sometimes they give you those really skinny, flimsy straps with ukulele, so it's pretty decent. Um, you know, it's not the select sp spruce top. There is some uneven grain, but it's nicely done. I like the finish. Um, yeah, they put the, the strap buttons on, which not all companies do, um, which is good because they give you a strap. Uh, not much to say about it. It's just, it's not wildly exciting. I mean, it looks similar to many, many, many other brands and models at the entry level, uh, in the entry level ukulele market. But I've received ukuleles that look like this that come that need a ton of work, um, that have uh, issues. Uh, not just once, but two, three, four times in a batch. Um, and this didn't have that. So I've got to give them credit for that of course you might order one and get something completely different um, but I can only judge the one in front of me and it is just about near perfect action fret ends are smooth um, tone is good no issues no separations uh, nothing going on with the body or anything inside's pretty clean um, you know I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this this company so far from the two instruments that I've seen um, yeah, that's what I've got to say. I'm not sure what the model number is on this. I will put it in the description. It's another long one. But it's the concert. I'm sure they probably do a soprano and a, maybe a tenor. But it's the concert spruce laminate. They also do a solid top with a slightly nicer bag as well, I noticed, uh, on Amazon. So there you go. There's my review of this Mirio entry-level spruce top uh, ukulele. I think it's very, very decent. I like the package. And, um, yeah, good job. Um, you know, pretty standard stuff, but uh, when you get it out of the box and it, and it works right and it sounds good, I think that's a step in the right direction. I will put the link where you can look at or buy this on Amazon since they sent me that. And also they sent me a discount code if anybody wants to buy. Uh, uh, who watches this channel, they sent me, a, sent me a special discount code that you put in as you're checking out of Amazon. I think it's 10% or something like that. And on a $40 ukulele, that's $10. No, it's not. It's $4, which is not nothing. So, uh, yeah, if you want to avail yourself of that, uh, please do so. Uh, otherwise, I will see you on the next inciting, exciting installment of Flowforth Instrument Music Reviews and Gossip. All right, folks. See you on the next one.